Since Sir Alex Ferguson retired in 2013, Manchester United have been searching for the right manager to bring about a new golden era for the club. Big managers in the world of football, including David Moyes, Louis van Gaal, and Jose Mourinho, ultimately failed in their time at Old Trafford. This prompted Manchester United to go in a different direction, appointing Ole Gunnar Solskjaer as the club's manager in December of 2018. While Solskjaer played for United under the great Sir Alex Ferguson and showed promise as the club's interim manager, he was an unconventional choice as up until this point, his managerial career had little to show for. However, in recent months, United have taken major strides under the Norwegian and now sit second place in the Premier League. With all this in mind, I think it's time to strategize how Manchester United should move forward at the managerial position. Let's start by evaluating Solskjaer's tenure as Manchester United manager. In 122 matches under Solskjaer, United have a winning percentage of roughly 57%, a pretty solid figure. That said, despite being a good team under Solskjaer, United have failed to take that next step and win a trophy. The main reason for this is the club's inconsistent performances. During Solskjaer's reign, United had been very streaky, going on runs of both scintillating and disastrous form. A lot of the time these disastrous performances come against clubs they should beat, the most recent example being Sheffield United just a few days ago. United's squad containing Bruno Fernandes, Marcus Rashford, Paul Pogba, Fred and others is clearly talented, but something is missing. And to be honest, it's hard to pinpoint what that exactly is. Many people would argue a center back, and while I agree the defense has its problems, I think there's more to it. Perhaps discipline, but I feel we've improved greatly in that department since Bruno entered the locker room. Or maybe it's a manager with experience of winning big trophies, but then again, we saw firsthand with Mourinho. That doesn't guarantee anything. One thing is certain. With United's recent form, Solskjaer deserves at least until the end of the season. We must stand by him as we make a push for the Premier League title. That said, once Manchester United's season comes to a close, it will be time to evaluate Solskjaer on results. Here is my ultimatum. If United either win a trophy or finish top four within six points of the title winner, Solskjaer deserves another season. I know what you are probably thinking. Finishing top four within six points of the title winner doesn't sound very impressive, but it would show great improvement from last season when we finished 33 points behind Liverpool and 15 points behind Manchester City. With Solskjaer then entering his final year of contract, that would set up United to make two or three big signings in the summer for an all-out title push in the 2021-2022 Premier League season. At that point, if United are still struggling to win a trophy, then I think it would be best to part ways with Solskjaer. Ultimately, a club of United stature must class success on trophies. If in three and a half years, with an already talented squad and backing in the transfer market, Solskjaer can't win a trophy, then I'm sorry, he's not good enough. Also, I think there's an opportunity for Solskjaer to lose his job at the end of this season as well. If United either fall out of the title race, or even worse, the top four, then I think he has to go. Personally, I feel that that's unlikely, but with the way this season has been going, I'm not counting anything out. While I know this video probably seems pretty negative, I want to give Solskjaer credit where it's due. I think his time at United has been very good. He's reminded both the players and fans what our expectations should be for the club with regards to competing for a title every year. He's also done a fantastic job helping some of the team's younger players like Rashford and Wambasaka reach new heights. Also, the guys clearly love to play for him. Anytime his back has been up against the wall, the team has come through and delivered special performances. In my opinion, the respect Solskjaer garners from the players is impressive and gets undervalued by his biggest critics. And honestly, I really want to see Solskjaer succeed at Manchester United, but right now, in my mind, his position at the club is still very much up in the air, and he should not receive a contract extension until he's able to capture his first trophy, whether that be this year or next year. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments how you think Manchester United should handle the managerial situation moving forward. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more Manchester United content. We will end it there. Thank you and take it easy. Peace. Give me that AK.
Everybody's grounded, but I'm off to the races. Yeah, you know I'm lost, and they all know their places. Maybe sometimes it's good to be complacent.